Thank you. I don't have any code in my presentation, so rest your brains for the next couple of minutes. Before I tell you about the great things that the uh, Databricks Unified Analytics Platform is helping us do at Bechtel, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what it is Bechtel does, some of the problems facing our industry, and where we're going from there. Over our 120-year history, Bechtel has delivered 25,000 of the most engineering, engineering projects in the world. With a team of 50,000, we self-perform the work, and we build some of the most massive and complex projects in the world. If you don't know Bechtel, you may know some of the things that we've built. There's enough concrete in the Hoover Dam to build a highway across the entire United States. Currently, the Hoover Dam powers three states and serves 1.3 million customers. We built the Channel Tunnel. This is still the largest undersea rail tunnel in the world connecting England and France. Across the world, the Jubail Industrial City Project is the largest civil engineering construction project in the world. But the industry as a whole is facing a serious challenge. And this problem in particular is what keeps our CEO, Brendan Bechtel, up at night. In 2015, McKinsey revealed that over the last two decades, annual productivity growth only increased 1%. Now compare that to other industries like manufacturing. Productivity growth in that industry doubled in the same time period. So we have a lot of work cut out for us, and we can't get there by just incremental innovation. We need something that's more disruptive. And I know that probably for a lot of people, they think about construction, and they think, you know, these are laggards in technology. Uh, they make a lot of dad jokes. I happen to like dad jokes. They, you know, these guys are way behind and they're never going to catch up. So we knew we had to bring something pretty impressive to help silence the haters. So we wanted to present to you this use case <laughs> um, using deep learning to sequence complex construction. If you think about some of these mega projects that span decades, cost billions of dollars, understand that there's no deterministic way to order the sequence of construction. And if you take two people building a similar plant with the same workers, we found that we get very different results. And that variability adds a lot of risk, and that risk adds a lot of cost. And I think um, Everybody's asking the question in their minds right now, do we have a cool simulation video? And the answer is yes, we do. So um, let's compare how humans sequence construction compared to the machines. So on the left, um, you'll see how humans actually chose the sequence construction of one section of a liquid natural gas plant. And on the right, you're seeing how machines chose to do it. So this is exciting because this is truly disruptive. This could change how we build these mega projects. This could help us reduce the risk, increase our value, make us more competitive in the industry, and force others in the industry to compete and catch up. So how did we get here? Uh, much like other companies and organizations investing in disruptive innovation, we centralized the expertise we needed to build the infrastructure to help us use AI and deep learning. So we created the Big Data and Analytics Center of Excellence to actively test and incorporate big data and analytics to deliver projects that will be smarter, safer, greener, and cost efficient for our customers and society. We also partnered with a very good data science company, Miner and Cash, at the very beginning to help us bootstrap while we staffed up. And as we started to go through this process of taking all of the data from 120 years, 25,000 construction projects, and centralize them into our data lake, 
one platform started coming up again and again. Spark. We were finding so many ways to use it, it was becoming ubiquitous. But the problem that we ran into is that as we tried to do this on our own, questions about how we apply security, some of the things we do is very sensitive. How do we govern? Doing these sorts of maintenance issues, trying to put all these pieces together, lost us a lot of time, slowed us down, caused us to drop in our productivity. So we needed to accelerate this process. And really, what we determined is that in order to move faster, we needed to leverage managed services wherever we could. And since Spark is everywhere in our architecture, the most bang for the buck would be to leverage Databricks Unified Analytics Platform. The data scientists are now empowered to marshal the resources they need on demand. They're not waiting for developers or engineering staff to set things up for them. Developers can now focus on productionalizing the code and pushing out services. The business is able to collaborate directly with data scientists in real time. This makes our iterations faster. Now, I said I didn't have any code to show you because I didn't want to steal Evan's thunder. Evan Smith, a senior data scientist at Bechtel. Where is Evan? She, it's a big sea of people. Um, she'll be giving a talk tomorrow on deep learning for complex con uh, construction sequencing. And she has a lot of code. And we're doing very exotic things with GPU clusters and Horovod libraries that I really urge you to check out. And in closing, I just want to say that I believe with the help of services like Databricks Unified Analytics Platform, I think that in the near future, data scientists are going to be able to legitimately take credit for building some of the largest and most complex projects humanity has ever created. And if anybody out there has any interest in doing things that survive two product cycles that might last a few generations, that you can tell your grandchildren, grandpa built that, grandma built that, then one of those data scientists might be you. Thank you.